Fairy Tale Chapter 516 Review The Truth About Enchantment. Well, for starters, I definitely did not expect this chapter to come out before 2017 by any means whatsoever, but as per usual, our boy Yonko Productions made some magic happen and has come to us today with chapter 516 of Fairy Tale. And oh boy, is this a phenomenal chapter? The answer is yes. So strap in your seatbelts, everyone, and prepare for some fairy tale greatness as I take you through chapter 516 of Fairy Tale. There's just so much to say about this chapter. Oh my god, I love this chapter so much. We left off last week, though, with the standoff between Eileen and Urza. Eileen has officially told Urza all there is to know about her past. So with that, we see the fight actually resume between the two. But not only does Urza partake in the fight against Eileen, we actually also have Wendy going in there and shaking some things up. Within this fight, we see Eileen getting absolutely dominated, purely annihilated by Urza and Wendy. And once again, the fight actually stops where Eileen reveals yet again another secret behind the dragon seed this time, which is something that I actually saw coming myself. Essentially, every single dragon slayer has the dragon can see within their bodies. However, Wendy goes on to reveal that the dragons created the antibodies to suppress the dragon seed itself. Then we find ourselves within Natsu's heart once again, and guess who has joined him this time? Well, it's none other than Natsu's father figure, Igneal. Oh my god! Seeing Igneal almost just brought tears to my eyes. You can see Natsu himself is very astonished to see his father just towering over him. But essentially, Igneal not only confirms this, but brings up another seed within Natsu's body. The seed of END. Essentially what Ingdil says is that the two seeds are actually clashing against one another in Natsu's body, and this is what is going to cause Natsu to lose his life. We then actually return to Eileen one night with what Wendy said. Eileen begins to absolutely lose it. With that, the fight actually resumes, and we actually see this panel where Urza is literally just about to drive a sword down the middle of Eileen's body, and personally, I thought this was the end for Eileen. However, it is not by any means whatsoever. Eileen reveals the secret behind enchantment. The fact that you can't enchant yourself into a relative's body, however, you can enchant yourself into someone else's body. And with this, we actually see the injured Eileen enchant herself into Wendy. She literally steals Wendy's body right in front of Urza. This is some seriously weird shit, but within the final page, we see Eileen... Or now Wendy, I guess you could say, saying shit like, I have been reborn. Like, this is absolutely nuts. You know, I definitely cannot say that this is the best chapter of the year. However, it is definitely one of the best of the year. However, I'm pretty certain that this is going to be the final chapter of the year for Fairy Tale, unless Yonko does some crazy shit once again. I hope you guys enjoyed. Nevertheless, I'm very, very excited to see what the next chapter has in store for us. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. The chapter link is in the description. As always, remember, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.